folks, welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Pot Monster? The fighting game game show brought to you by Look Alive and Combo Breaker. You know, I never tell the guest the name of the show until we get into it because I think it's always funny seeing the, the sincere reaction. I'm J.M. Crofts and I'm here with James Chen, today's contestant. How are you doing today, James? Uh, look, all I'm just going to say is that I have been a pot monster my whole entire life, so it's Listen, okay. <laughs> I, I always say that too, you know, someone who enters tournaments and, you know, you're not, it, sure, if you do well, it's a nice bonus, but it's not really your expectation going in. That's how I operate. But for you, you know, you're, you're something of a fighting game scholar, I feel like. Ever since the old days, I've seen your, your guides on game facts. Do you feel that you are smarter than the average pot monster? Don't, don't set me up for failing here, John. <laughs> it's too much pressure. Exactly. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm we'll keep I'm expectations I'm low. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm, if you keep all your questions related to Street Fighter 2, I think I'll be okay with this. Okay, so. <laughs> excellent. We'll, we'll put we'll put that knowledge to the test today. The game is pretty simple. Two rounds, four questions each. Just mm -hmm. like a tournament, it's double elimination, so you can miss one and keep going. Oh, okay. Some of these questions are devilishly difficult, so we've got two lifelines to help you out, or as we like to call them, top player privilege. First of all, <laughs> we got coaching, so you can use, you can break the no coaching rule and you will get a hint to get you closer to the answer. And okay. the other is top seeding, the number one seed in the bracket. They're usually the first to get a buy. So if you're just completely <laughs> lost, we can rearrange the bracket, so to speak, and get you a buy, letting you skip the question oh with no penalty. But you can only oh. use each lifeline once, so keep <sighs> that in mind. Uh, and with that, I think we're ready to go into the first round. So our, our categories here, we've got anime protagonists, we've got crossovers, frame data, and supers. So which one jumps out at you as something that you would like to start with? Uh, can I can I have an extra lifeline and ask Nathan for answer? Oh my God, he ran away, dude! He doesn't. <laughs> the the difficulty of the questions has scared away the cats. Yeah, he left. He doesn't. He's he's he he has doesn't have my back. My cat my <laughs> cat does not have my. Uh, let's try supers. Sure, let's let's. See All right, got. let's see. Now you're gonna have to name the game and the character whose super is pictured on screen or equivalent mechanic. It doesn't have to be called a super um i'm i'm gonna say that the character is poison ivy and i believe this is injustice 2 <laughs> you nailed it you nailed it james yes. that's that's exactly yes. right injustice 2 poison <laughs> ivy so you're off to a good start here you're not you're all not right, going oh right. and two that's guaranteed okay, okay. that's usually okay. what i'm hoping in a tournament is just not to go so, oh and two. Oh, by the way i just remembered i have something to do so i'm gonna retire <laughs> right, thank you guys buddy. signing off <laughs> <laughs> uh let's try crossovers all right king of fighters contains characters from many snk franchises but who is the ah. only samurai showdown character to ever appear in a mainline kof game uh, thankfully i've been doing a lot of snk podcasts recently <laughs> <laughs> so i can say with confidence that it is Nakaruru, uh, final answer. <laughs> All right, we got, I'm, I made these too easy. I, I thought these were gonna be hard ones. Okay, but this is just round one. Don't get too comfortable. Oh, oh this is only round one? There's, yeah, there's was, like, gonna be four more questions if you get through these four. Man, I thought I was, I thought I was doing good. Now I'm scared <laughs> again. Uh, let's do frame data. All right. <laughs> Chun-Li has the fastest jab in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, but how many frames of startup does it have? All right, this one I'm going to answer with a caveat. This is a mm -hmm. trick question in a weird way. Yeah, um, I know there's two. There's kind of two possible answers. Yeah. It depends so on how the, you define it. The original old method of defining frame data, they did not have the first active frame as startup. And so a lot of people said that Chun-Li's crouching light punch in Third Strike was two frames. But by modern nomenclature, where the first active frame is also a uh, considered part of the startup, it would be three frames. So modern now, day, three frames, old days, two frames. <laughs> see, James, I even accounted for this. I knew I put two frames, but it does hit on the third frame. Because in Street Fighter 4, jabs are three frames. 
but they hit on the third frame. So really, it's right. the same speed, right? As Chun Li. Oh, cool, cool. So okay, I, w- okay. I was I was ready to go either way on that one, but you, you got the extra credit. You knew you knew the full reasoning and everything. Nice job. And See, so we're I'm... we're left with just yeah. anime protagonists here. This is, I, I left it at the end for a reason because <laughs> I'm scared of this one. Okay. Uh, all right, in Dragon Ball Fighters, including DLC, there are six characters with Goku in the name. You're gonna have to name at least four. Oh my god! Um, they all got Goku in the name, so that that's an easy way to start. All right, there's, I think there's like regular Goku. I think his name is just Goku, and yeah, 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 we'll count that. There's a kid Goku. I think it is. Young Goku. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to talk to the judges on that one. Maybe guess some other ones. We'll see if we okay. can get it. There's uh S S G S S Go. I don't know. <laughs> oh god. And don't forget that you do you do have your hints as well. Or you right. you have one hint and one skip available if you don't right. want to risk it all on the question. You know, uh I'm gonna use my skip lifeline because all I'm right, good. I think that's fair, James. Not <laughs> not a so. Dragon Ball scholar. We'll, no. we'll we'll show the list here. We got Super Saiyan Goku. We got you. You were on the right track. SSGSS Blue Goku. Right. Okay. Okay. Goku Black Base Goku. Who you know? That's kind of just regular uh-huh. Goku. GT Goku is Kid Goku. It's kind of misleading. And then Ultra Instinct Goku. There's too many Gokus. We set you up for failure. They're going deep in the what? anime. Well, I know it's not your specialty. One hundred percent. I was done on that question. So I'm happy with my life. <laughs> All right. Well, you came out of round one unscathed. You're four okay. and zero right now. You're out of pools, as I like to All say. Right. But now okay, we're moving okay. on to round two. We got a whole new set of categories. Let's jump over to it. All right, we're into round two of Are You Smarter Than a Pop Monster? We got a new set of categories. We got announcers, we got inputs, FGC history, and then Combo Breaker. Of course, this is uh, brought to you by Combo Breaker and Look Alive. Which See, one are you feeling here, James? I, j- I know, like. You put FGC history in there, and I call myself an FGC historian. So that guarantees I'm getting this question wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to look like a fool. So let's get that one out of the way. All right, let's do, let's do it. History. All right. The first European to get first place at Evo was a French player named DTN in 2003. Now, which game did he get first place in? So you already know it was at Evo 2003. So that narrows it down somewhat. Right. See, the thing is, I'm pretty sure I know the answer. I just don't remember which one. (laughs) Mm. Okay, I'm just going to say this much. I'm pretty sure this is Soul Calibur as the, the, the series. I just can't remember which Soul Calibur. <laughs> That's the trick. That's the. Tr- I, I will neither confirm nor deny your suspicions, so as not to influence the answer. But we were. So it's either going to be. I believe it's either going to be one or two. I think. Uh, let me think. And and I remember. So two thousand four, two thousand five, was like the GameCube was when the GameCube was out because I remember at one of the Evos we had Mario Golf on the GameCube <laughs> because I remember that because it was my GameCube at Evo and it broke <laughs> because <laughs> it never turned off. Uh, so I'm going to go with Soul Calibur 2. Oh my gosh, we took a long road to get there and uh, you're exactly right. It is yes! Soul Calibur 2. <laughs> And you know, Soul Calibur One was never run at Evo, so that okay, that okay. that helps a little bit. And neither was Soul oh. Calibur Three. Also, I'm pretty sure but two and four Ooh. both were. Oh, oh my God. gosh! All right, so <laughs> I, you're you're Crimson James. Log- you're five and zero oh right now. Dude, I had to logic that one out so much. Dude, <laughs> you had to go into the Sherlock Holmes mind palace. I understand. Oh my God! Oh, okay. All let's right, do, what's the let, let's do inputs. Let's do inputs. All right, inputs. What is the input for ah, Akuma's okay. Raging Demon Super? <laughs> uh light punch, light punch, forward, light kick, heavy punch. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. That that's an easy one for you. If we okay. if we got maybe if we got one of those people who know all the Gokus, maybe they would have trouble with that one. All right. <laughs> you were you were well suited. Uh. All right, since this is Combo Breaker, I'm going to save this for the last. So let's okay, go to okay. announcers. Let's do announcers. All right, so for our semifinals round here, this is going to be an audio question. 
So oh, I'm going to play you a collage of many <laughs> intro announcers from fighting games. And you just have oh to see God. if you can name three of them. So listen up closely here. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Rebel, Rebel one. one. Action. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Open your magic circuit. Fight. Nobody blink. Let's party. This is going to be a match to remember. Fight. <laughs> All right, did you get all those, James? So you just yeah, have to yeah. name three of the games. Three of the so, games. So, uh, I mean, uh, play them again, play them again. Or... All right, for sure. The Wheel so... of Fate is turning. Rebel, one. Action. Go to the next one. Ladies next and gentlemen, one. it's showtime. That's uh, Skullgirls, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Fight. Nobody so, go, to... go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Mike, let's party. That's Street Fighter Alpha 3. This yeah, that's is gonna right. be a match to remember. Fight! And that's uh, Capcom versus SNK 2. <laughs> all right, all right. Skullgirls Alpha 3, CVS 2. You got them. The other so, ones were we had Melty Blood type Lumina. Oh, and okay. we had Blaze Blue was the first one. The Wheel of Fate yeah. is turning. I so again, the anime, the anime coming yeah, up is a bit of a weakness. Is, I would have gotten the Blaze Blue one, but I totally would have gotten the Melty Blood one wrong. For some, uh, yeah. I, almost, I almost was like, if you had to have me name all five, I might have said Undernight in birth, and I would have, uh, right. I would have crashed and burned on that one. Okay, good. <laughs> James, I don't know what to say. You're here at the grand finals, and you, you're still in winner's side. So really, there's nothing that can go wrong here. Even if you get this wrong, you're making it out of this in one piece. So our final <laughs> remaining category, what's that? <laughs> you know what's gonna happen though? I'm gonna get this wrong. And Rick is going to be like, oh, really, James? And then <laughs> I'm fired from Combo Breaker. <laughs> All right. There's a lot on the line for this one. Right. Career, careers could be made or broken. Uh, Let's see the final question. After the last offline Combo Breaker tournament in 2019, which player got first place in Undernight Inbirth EXE latest and then went on to win EVO as well that year? So they won Undernight at Combo Breaker 2019, and then they won... Evo 2019 in Undernight Inbirth EXE latest. Like, I have a guess, but I feel like I should use the hint anyway. True. Uh, I mean, I have the hint. What's, you may what's as your well. hint? All right. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go to our, our crack group of coaches here and come up with a hint <laughs> here, which is. Uh... He has like a, like a lighting fixture in his name, like, a, like one of those things you use to light your house. He's named oh, after it. Okay, okay. I might have actually gotten this one wrong. Uh, now I do know who the answer is, but I don't remember their full name. Mm, that's the truth. Oh, wait. I think I got it. I think I remembered what uh -huh. it was. It's Clear Lamp, right? It's totally Clear Lamp. Yes. Correct, correct. <laughs> A perfect I, score. <sighs> Eight and O. Oh. Well, seven and O oh if you don't count a buy as yeah. a win. But in a tournament, a buy counts as a win. So that <laughs> that totally counts. Oh, I totally I almost got this one wrong. If I didn't go for the hit, clearly I'm okay. Thank you for the hint. Thank you, coaches. Hey, well, thank you, you coaches. You yeah, exactly. This is why, you know, coaches can make a big difference in fighting games as well. It's important. But James, what can I say? Eight questions up, eight questions down. I'm impressed. How do you feel with your result? Is this, is this what you were hoping for? Dude, I am, I, I am actually strangely really proud of my logicking <laughs> out the Soul Calibur. The Soul Calibur, you know, that was, that was one for the ages. That was impressive for sure. Well, extremely well played, James. And I just want to give you this opportunity. If there's anything you want to shout out, tell people where they can find you. Go ahead and do so. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you want to learn more about fighting game history, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm on Jay Chenzor at everything, J-C-H-E-N-S-O-R, on Twitter, on Twitch as well. On YouTube, most of my content is on Ultra Chen TV, and I do also stream on Ultra Chen TV as well for the Tuesday show and such. Oh, you can also find me on Instagram.com slash Jay Chenzor if you want to see more pictures of my cats, because that's all I post on there. Oh, All right. I mean, who doesn't love a good cat <laughs> picture? That's for sure. Well, thank you so much for uh, agreeing to be a contestant, James. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate all you guys at home for tuning in to Look Alive and watching our show. I hope you enjoy the rest of everything that's on offer today. Don't touch that dial. 
And uh, <laughs> peace out, everybody. Bye.